Hello, and welcome to this brief overview of the brand new performance page in AI version 7. Version 6 users will notice some substantial changes to the layout of this page. So, what's different? Firstly, the bank system has changed now, allowing for the user to be able to name individual banks instead of having to remember which bank your media was stored in. This is great when working with a band's songs or when you need quick access to your media clips. Each bank holds the media on what is known as the roller queue. To add a new bank, simply click on the plus icon and add a name. To delete banks, right click on the plus icon. The roller queue replaces the hexagon queues from version 6. Media clips can be dropped onto the roller queue, either direct from Windows Explorer or via the internal browser. The roller queue can be resized by using the shift and the mouse scroll wheel, or alternatively changed into a rather funky hex ball by pressing F6. This can then be moved around the screen by holding shift and move with the mouse. It is also possible to turn off the roller queue or hex ball completely by using shift and colon on your keyboard. The layers in AI have been improved with the introduction of the new multi-layer widget. Here we have access to some of the most commonly required layer functions such as play modes, blend modes, colorization, etc as well as providing a handy preview window. It is worth noting that layers are now modular, meaning that you can keep adding layers up to the limitations of your hardware. The play modes allow you to decide your clip's play behaviour, with modes such as play once, loop, play back and forth, as well as some time code specific play modes and intensity controlled play modes. Also on the multi-layer widget, you can control the playback speed and intensity of the media clips, as well as changing the colorization of the layer. Blend modes can also be changed per layer, offering commonly used blends like Alpha, Additive, Difference, Luma, etc. We also have access to two effects units per layer, Click effects with the left mouse button for FX unit 1 and hold shift and click with the left mouse button for FX2. There is also information on the multi-layer widget that tells us how long the clip is, where in the clip you currently are, as well as how many frames per second the clip is. For more help and tutorials, please visit our website www.avalightsmedia.com